Obviously, a couple days before you travel out to Buffalo, any idea yet, or, you know, Josh Johnson, Brett Rippon, is it going to be kind of the same workload for them, or are you looking at splitting it a little bit? Yeah, you know, we really haven't talked about that exactly. I think it's going to, it's for sure going to be split one way or the other. Um, we just haven't kind of decided and made it, you know, definite on what we're going to do there yet. Nathaniel, with the uh, injury to Jonas Griffith, um, I know you brought in Schobert, but Randy Gratishar is clearly not – good enough to be in the Hall of Fame. Have you thought about bringing him in so he can impress the committee to finally get into Canton? Yeah, we'll get him signed up. I mean, heck, one of the greatest players of all time. I mean, um, he's going to have his time. I mean, his time is going to come. Uh, hopefully it's sooner rather than later. Hey, Coach, you talked a lot about the Chiefs, Rick Russell, and the second act, quarterbacks who have been to a Super Bowl with another team, what's the key to recapturing and bottling that back to the Chiefs? I mean, I think any time, you know, you're with a team and then you go to another team, um, there's always that excitement. You know, everybody, it's kind of like you never know what you had until it's gone. Um, and for us, it's we're just so excited to have somebody here like him. Um, so I think for us, it's just about letting Russ be Russ and, and watch him out there go and execute, supporting him, being in the, there for him so that we can continually bring that energy every day and that standard that he's setting. So I think he's re-energized, he's fired up, and we just want to keep feeding off that every day. With Cushenberry, is it still maintenance or is he dealing with an injury? Yeah, he's got like he's got a knee, and so it's one of those things we're just resting him to make sure that he's good, but it's nothing serious. And with Hamler, we haven't seen him do team stuff. We see him working out crazy beside is it still hopeful that he can get into team drills before? Like God, I hope so. You know, I really do. He's been working so hard. And, again, it's, you know, it's such a unique injury with what he had that we just want to be sure that we're smart with it. And, um, yes, we want him out there, but we just we don't want to have any setbacks or anything like that. How is Randy Gregory now? This was his third day, and he was out there on field one for a job through. How's he looking so far? I mean, he's so juiced. I mean, don't get me wrong, our training staff is unbelievable, and he's been doing a great job over there, and they've been doing a great job getting him back. But he's definitely excited to be back with the guys, you know, being able to do this uh, region. That's another reason why these, these days are so great, because a guy like that that's working back in gets, you know, 50 reps right there at not necessarily a walkthrough, not necessarily full speed, but at a nice tempo to get that. So, I mean, he's just happy to be out there and playing football. That's what he loves, and he, he brings so much juice. Coach Billy Turner wasn't out here today. Is that Did he have a setback? Is that something really No, he didn't. Related? He's just excused, so he's got some personal things he's taking care of. No, it's a uh, cuts are tough, period. But I noticed the, the cuts didn't happen until after the practice was over. Why after the practice instead of before the practice? Yeah, I mean, every single time you have an opportunity to walk on this, on this field, it's a privilege. You know, and we always want to continually evaluate, make sure we're doing all the right things and making sure we're getting the right uh, decisions made is probably the best way to do it. So we just wanted to be sure they got to be able to put some tape on there and, and see them, and then uh, we had to make that decision. So that is a competitive period right there for the, like, something could change. Of course. I mean, anything can change up until the last second. Yeah, I mean, the guys that we have here are doing a great job. I mean, our young guys are really stepping up. You know, we have a lot of receivers. I think we still have 11 guys. Um, and there's a lot of guys that we're depending on to, to keep stepping up every day. And we're excited for their opportunity. No, it's... I mean, both those guys, for me, have kind of exceeded my expectations. You know, anytime you've got rookies coming in, you always have second guesses as a coach um, how much they're going to be able to contribute to your team. And I think both those guys, both on special teams and defense, have shown that they uh, it's not too big for them and they can compete at the highest level. How no, it's a few more for the coach? No, it's a business trip out to Buffalo. But you used to coach there. I did. How big of a deal is it going back to where you used to coach? And if you had to make recommendations to people in the organization on where to go for wings, what would you recommend? Oh, okay. I, I don't know if I can say that. There's so many different ones. I used to always just go to the big tree right next door to uh, the stadium because it was the closest one, and they do have good wings. But, uh, you know, um, I, I had a great time there. I learned so much. You know, I was there for quality control for two years. I was uh, the coordinator for two years, and it, it was an amazing experience. You know, we still have friends that are there. I'm excited to see. Um, but, I mean, hey, it's a business trip. It's still a game. Been back there a couple times already. And, uh, hey, got to go play some football. How has Matt Henningsen come along over the course of camp? Very good, very good. He's a, he's another guy that you know had a little setback earlier in uh, the off season, um, was out for a little bit. He's bounced back. He's uh, just now has to take advantage of some of his opportunities, and we've been giving him a hard time for that because he had some great opportunities in the game um, to get a couple sacks. So um, he's doing everything right. He's a real smart player, and uh, he's putting himself in the right positions. Now he's just going to have to be able to finish it to take it to that next level. With Coach, what kind of luxury is it when Cush is out to have a guy that started so many games jump in with? 
Glasgow. Oh, it's it's been great. I think that's another guy that you know you didn't know where he was going to be coming off his injury, and uh, you know he stepped up every single day and to be able to play the guard and the center position, um, and then to have his opportunity right now to get out there. I mean, I've been uh, very pleased with what he's done, how he's picked the system up, bought in. Uh, he actually had a really good day yesterday. I think that was you know kind of the first time he got to go out there and run it with the ones in that position. And I mean, his angles were, were really good. He understands those things. You know, he's a savvy veteran. So I think those things are always you're excited to have out there. With Billy, you've seen him for preseason. How much do you try to simulate what you're doing on a regular season on a road trip? So what do you convey to the guys about your expectations on how to travel? Yeah, I think everything just has to be defined. It's about communication with everything that we do. You have to communicate uh, nonstop with everybody so that they know exactly what we're looking for. Um, we will make it just like a regular road trip on how we do things with the um, afternoon game there at 1 o'clock. And uh, so we'll kind of go through that process, and we'll be able to find out some things and work through. It's always a little different when you have this many guys, um, but I think we'll be able to get a lot of good information. Last one, Parker Gabriel. You've seen, you've seen Billy play a lot of football. Um, yes. Is he a right tackle in your mind when he's back or does it depend on what the rest of that you know it's funny I look back at Green Bay and he still gives me the, the a bad look because I mean heck he played so many positions and I mean he was unbelievable because we would be in a situation on a Friday and he would have prepared all week for you know one position and we'd have to change it and he'd go to a guard or a left tackle and um, so for me I mean my first year he was right guard second year he was right tackle Third year he played, I mean, everything but center, I think. Um, so, I, you know, for me, it's about how he fits right now. He's, you know, we want to see what he does at right tackle. Um, but, I mean, he, the great thing about Billy is his flexibility to play all over the field. Thank you very much. Coach. All right, y'all. Thanks, Thanks, Coach. Coach. Thank you, Coach.